My name is Mark Selby. I'm the current North American IKF heavyweight kickboxing champion. A record 7-0 with six knockouts. But to me, it's all about the passion. You get in there, one person fighting. You know, it's just a, that's the name of the game. You know, I've had my share of knockouts with, with six knockouts and seven fights, but I've I've had a few cuts here and there. There's nothing the doctor can't fix. With a couple stitches. 7-0 with six knockouts in kickboxing, but before that, I did Taekwondo for years. Uh, yeah, he's been around a long time. He's got a lot of fights. Um, he's fought some of the best people in the world. Fought Dennis Alexio, fought Giuseppe. Um, I'm sure he's going to be a, you know, an admirable adversary. My, my mom's begging me to quit. I'm 34 years old. She said, son, please, you, you, when are you going to give it up? That's all I know you. I mean, I'm doing, you know, July 8th was my 20th year anniversary of martial arts. My mom's like, when are you going to move on to the next chapter? Uh, soon, mom, I swear, I promise. Just a couple more fights. Hey, it's a fight. Anything can happen. I feel very confident my skills will take me through. I and mean, I know that the horse is coming for the fight. So am I. I mean, I'm not one of those guys that's going to predict that, you know, knock my guy out too or try to sound like a jerk. I'm ready. I'm sure he's ready. And I'm sure that it's going to be an excellent fight. It's going to be a great show. Hopefully I'll catch, uh, hopefully my guy's going to step back after I throw the jab and get a call with a shot in the head, you know. You never know. It's all happening because Brett Moses and Fight Party Productions, and you can check them out on the World Wide Web at www.thefightparty.com. Horse is not touching gloves. Horse is a little, He's a bit excited right now. He's going to try to get back some of the ground that Mark just took from him. Nice cover. Very nice technique. Mark looks like he's settled down a little bit now. He's okay now. Not nearly as aggressive as he was like Pips. Definitely playing into his best interest. Nice left kick by Mark. Another one. Morris needs to slow down. I think it was a bit embarrassing. Mark put him down. He just got to just get a hold of himself and not take it too personal and just fight. Saturday night at the fight show, ring girl Michelle get into the ring. We're getting to round number two. Come on and get up and let her do the dial we do. Make it some noise. Two. Mark coming out very aggressive. Three, four straight side kicks. Nice axe kick attempt by Mark. Push. Let's go. That's a sign of a professional. You let go before the referee needs to tell you things. Mark is definitely pressing the action. I think Mark. He's fully, he's come full circle, he understands. This is a fight he needs to win. Great side kick by Mark. He's keeping his distance. He's not allowing Morris to get into his range. He's fighting an outside fight, but I think Mark really needs to do to win this fight. Nice block by Mark. Nice left hook lead. Come on, 
Nice kill. Even Horace acknowledged a great kick by Mark. Lynch. Nice left hook combination right here. Lee. I think Mark really needs to use his reach right now. But that, gets, that gets your requirement in though. I mean, you've got to attempt it. I think Mark needs to use his, his reach. It's just, it's, it's commanding his reach. Mark covering up very well, sign of a true professional. He knows where he is. When you see Mark cover up like that, you see him use the ring. That is ring general shot. Atlanta, Georgia, round number three. Anything? Stuck in the first. It's a ring girl, Maya, once again. Why don't you make a little bit of noise for Maya? Are you afraid to throw the right hand? Right hand. Throw it. Don't be afraid to throw that motherfucker. That leg, right hand. Let it go. Just turn it. Right hand. Throw the left foot right hand. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah. Left foot, right hand. Let's go. Bop, bop. One, two. Bop, bop. Yeah. Round three. These guys can't even wait to get in. Mark overhand right. Big shot. Push kick. Side kick. Found his confidence. He was never short of it before, but there's a difference between perceived confidence and believed confidence. And I think he has it. Marcus is throwing strikes. Uh, his elbows are flaring at his punches. Mark is throwing tighter combinations more often. He's scoring. And that's, I mean, really, in all honesty, that's the name of America. This is more of a scoring point type fight. Not a, not a whole lot of knockouts in full contact kickboxing. It's who can put the most combinations. Mark seems to be stacked. I wonder what's wrong. Right above the nose, it looks like. Slip by Marcus. Back up, Karen. I don't think it's going to really bother him. I mean, he's a very tough guy. A little blood is no big deal. It's not affecting his eyes at all. The only time, the only time that they could stop a fight is if it were so deep for one or affecting his vision. It's not affecting his vision. I'm not very close to him. I can't tell how deep the cut is. But Dr. John Keaton, probably the best orthopedic surgeon on the planet, is letting him go. So it's not that bad. Also, Dr. Langway Ling is his consultant. Two, two of the best orthopedic surgeons there are. Mark needs to stop rolling and needs to start fighting. Mark has got to stop rolling. Uh, of course, looks more like a brawler. And then he pushes a little bit more wild. Mark needs to stand in front of him and use his reach and out box. It's a quick boxing match. Understand that. But he needs to use the tools that he has at his disposal. You can't just sit there and try to, you know, just try to brawl. Clapping your hands out there, round number four, ring girl Amy Jane.
Shelby coming out, hard again. Nice reverse back fist. Spinning back fist by Shelby. Another try. You know, I think, I think Mark tasted his own blood. He doesn't like it too much. One of two things happen, Casey, in that situation. You taste your own blood, you back up, you go into a, go into a shell. I think it just turned Mark over. I can't speak for everybody, I speak for myself. I taste my own blood. I get off. I mean, I'm, I'm in a fight. I like it. I want someone that can hurt me. I like getting hurt. I like when someone brings it to me. It brings the best out of me. And Mark is the same way. I know Mark very well. Nice. Nice left side kick. Mark! Mark! Get him up, Mark! Get your hands up! Mark better not, uh, you better not feel too happy about that. Right push kick by Mark. Mark needs to celebrate like that when he finishes wars, not when you're in the middle of a fight. He doesn't need a little The fight's not over You showboat after the fight. If you don't showboat during a fight, you'll lose that one. Mark is stalking. He's got to take advantage of Boris Moore's back into the ropes. You can't give up ground like that. You don't pay for ground, but you just gain twice. Going into our final round, round of applause once again. It's round five. Ring girl Maya, come on and give it up. I know Mark, so I don't really think I'm speaking out of school on this. He better stop bullshitting like that, and he better finish this fight if he wants to. We have water in my neck. That's nice. A great, a great eight count. That's wonderful. That's not a knockout. The fight's not over. That was a body shot. It's not going to hurt anybody. It's a shocking kind of a blow. If you look at Horace, Horace, he's not intimidated. He's not scared. You know, it's another day at the job. And if Mark wants to win this fight, he better get it going. You play that kind of crap, look into the camera, think you're a fucking star, you're going to get hurt. Sorry for the language, but I'm, I am terribly intense about fights. I, I take what I do very seriously. Nice crescent kick by Mark, but he can't rest on those laurels. He needs to do something with those points. Side kick by Mark, he's stalking again. Mark switches his stance. I think Mark really needs to start leading with his hands, finishing with his kicks. He's becoming somewhat sedentary in his combinations. Nice combination for I think instead of gaining confidence, I think his ego may be getting the best of him, thinking he cannot be hurt. He can't go for a knockout. I mean, he's hit horse with everything he's got. Horse is not moving. He needs to score and he needs to move. He's 
not. And that's what's suckering Mark in. Nice spinning back fist. Nice combination. Right hand, left hook combination. Mark backs out. Mark needs to stop playing right now. Exactly. It's the last round, he needs to just give it all his all. Horace is feeling wildly. Mark needs to sit down. He needs to throw some blows and move. If you want to play this ridiculous karate scoring game, he's going to lose.